Good morning from Raja Ampat. Now today we are leaving the Papua Arts homestay and we are heading on an excursion. These excursions are offered through the property and there's a whole bunch of them. Today we are going to go to Blue River so we'll show you how to do that as a family. There's also going to be a waterfall involved and we'll see what else the day brings but we're really excited. They organize everything. They got our car. Kelly and the kids are loading up right now. And it's going to be about an hour total in the car to get to Blue River where we're going to then take a boat ride and check it out. So we'll see uh, what adventures today brings. While we're in the car ride, I want to talk a little bit about the total package price that uh, you would expect to pay on a Papua Arch for these day excursions. So this particular one cost us 3,850,000 rupiah. And that includes obviously the car here, our guides and our driver, Iswan. Uh, so he's uh, been with Papua Arch for a long time. And we also that also includes the boat rental, the food, and just basically every component of the excursion. So, you know, for us, totally fair price, big family of uh, five here and everything's provided with that one cost. All right, so about 40 minutes later, we're pulling up to the Blue River uh, where we're gonna get on our longboat. And this is where we transfer from the car to the longboat. So we're walking down, and there's just a lot of local people here. Welcome to our Samin village. My name is Christine and my husband Alfred. Alfred, Alfred your pleasure, your Christine and Alfred. Village is Kartika, maybe you already know Kartika. Yeah, yeah. So your schedule today is for the blue river and for the waterfall. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hope you all enjoy the tour. Oh, cool. yeah. You use traditional local boats so you feel the experience like great fishermen. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. We want 100% authentic. <laughs> so it's gonna be a great adventure. So hope you enjoy everything. <laughs> Always opportunity and you know good to do post for photos. So yeah, that's super that's appreciated. Like Oh, all right. So here's the long boat that we're going to be taking. And we got our lunch, snacks, fresh water, chips, and then the whole entourage of people. All right, so loading up, a, loading up into the, what's the, what's the Bahasa word for boat again? Barahu. Barahu. Loading up in the Barahu. Uni, can you tell us more about the village? Yes. Okay, so it's this village. Um, we call it Warsambin. And then more than 100 people stay here. Yeah. And then they do fishing and the same things, the garden. Yeah. And, and co coconuts. Coconut. <laughs> for sure. Coconut. And then do some tour to Kalibiru and Maya Libit Bay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, tourism is. Picking up. I like that. Yeah. So once you leave the main channel of the river, you start winding through the backwaters here. And it looks up ahead like it's getting narrow and narrower. But it's beautiful with like all the, I think that's all limestone mountains. And looks like mangroves just kind of pouring from the water. The boat. A little, a little tippy, a little, a little shaky. But, uh, you know, I feel okay. I hope, hopefully we're in good hands. The water at least is not very deep. I and mean, right there, it's only like maybe two, three feet right there. So it's not not so deep, uh, but yeah, the boat got a little tip to it. So we're hearing uh, all types of birds. We saw an eagle flying. Yeah. We've seen fish, just lots of uh, lots of uh, songbirds in the area, no doubt. All right, so once you're docked up, now we're going to do about a 10-minute hike through the jungle here. And this is the path that's going to take us to the really blue color water that you'll see like on Instagram and all that. So it's about a 10-minute walk. We've been told it's moderate. So uh, again, we have like 
flip-flop wearing people and barefoot people. I got my jeans on. So we'll find out. It should be okay though, I think. There are beautiful birds and birds of paradise. And what are they called? Chendrawasi. And what is that kind of bird? Because the Chendrawasi you only find in Papua. Ah, yeah, ah. so that's why they have a specific name. It's the Chendrawasi. So if you're a birder, you can do a specific bird hiking out of the uh, Papua Art Center. A little bit of a current kick. Not bad though, I've made it through. Alright, just like a little archway. Must say something like welcome to uh, the Blue River. Alright, so we made it again. Not a bad hike from the boat that took about 10-15 minutes and it looks like they've got nice picnic tables, boardwalk. Yeah, looks great. Oh god, super muddy right there. I'm gonna ditch the bags. Alright, so as we get settled in, we'll just take a look around the property. I'm guessing whatever this is. All right, maybe I can't be bathrooms. Let's see. Uh, hello. Ah, no. So these are like little changing huts. Okay, so you don't have to worry. We had the, the big debate: do we put the bathing suits on, like at Popo Arts, and wear them for the car ride? But definitely, let's see. Hello, scuzzy. Permisi. Nope. Yep. Good. So you got two. That's just a broken board. Uh, two changing spots right here by the Blue River. So that's cool. And we're getting all of our kind of our table set up. This is great. What a wonderful spot. Cool. Time to get in the water, I think. Oh yeah. Cool. It's blue for sure. Blue for sure. Wow. That is some blue. That is the Blue River. So it's great they have uh, stairs and it's easy in, easy out. Right here, you can just do this for hours and hours and hours, but I can't believe how blue the, why is the water so blue, Yuni? Well, don't, don't know, it just yeah. is. Natural phenomenon. Yeah. Drop a comment down below if you can tell us why is this water so blue? Is it the rocks, is it? Maybe the silt or silt. maybe. Maybe silt, yeah, for sure. All right, back in. Okay. It's super clear. Yeah. Super so clear. clear. It's kind of cold. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Are we gonna go swimming? Yeah. You wanna swim too? Bye. Bye. Okay. Alright, so. We're gonna explore up the river a little bit. I mean, this is the big jump pad here, but it's definitely a stronger current here. So just this component of the trip alone, I would say it's totally worth doing, especially with kids as a family. Now I imagine once like coronavirus and all that is over and people are traveling, this would be a pretty busy spot, but it's pretty epic to have it to ourselves right now. So part of our excursion out here includes lunch. And so that was again packed uh, for us this morning from Papua Arts. And let's take a look and see what we've got. It looks like we've got uh, noodles, so mee goreng. And what is this? Uh, tayur. Tayur. Tofu tempeh. Tempeh tau. And mixed fruits. And my favorite, the... Papaya. Fresh papaya. So what a spread. And we're gonna dig in and enjoy the meal out in the beautiful Blue River Valley. All right, so the food is pretty good. Uh, I'm, I think I'm most excited about the jackfruit. It's sort of like a like a stewed jackfruit. Mm. Like a jackfruit curry. Yeah, really nice. Uh, the meals have been good all along, and then my favorite is the uh, the tempeh, which is sort of like a smoky barbecue. 
another outstanding meal and even more enjoyable here down by the Blue River. Yeah, epic. All right, so wrapping up the time here at Blue River. Again, a great trip for our families and even with Forrest as a two-year-old, no problem. So now we are on to the Waiwali Waterfall. All right, so the open ocean is just straight ahead of us here. Now we're not going all the way out to the open ocean, thank goodness, in this boat. But when the waterfall goes just off kind of one of the side channels that we're gonna eventually get to. But I will say, um, there are no life jackets on board. Now, we didn't think to really inquire if they were even available, but just be mindful that if that's something that will bother you, uh, you definitely wanna follow up if there are life jackets. Because right now, the water's a little wavy, but nothing that's like alarming. So for you, it might be worth uh, inquiring on if that's uh, a possibility. And so the hiking begins. The water is uh, nice and cold, but again, I have no idea how far back it is. And the sun is out. Definitely gonna wanna bring on your journey here, suntan lotion and bug spray. We've got both, thankfully. As we work our way back to the trail, it's definitely a maintained trail. It's super muddy in places, and you're stepping over trees and broken up coconuts thick vegetation, but there's certainly a path to take. All right, so not far at all from the boat, you come to the series. They're like kind of micro waterfalls, I would call them. And there's a whole network of them that go all the way up. All right, here we go. Ah! Ah! Woo! Cool! Yeah! All right! It's actually pretty nice that it's not so, like, huge and really pushing because like I don't know totally good for the kids to get in and I think yeah the further up you go there's just a little channel of them in a row but this spot's great so these waterfalls in combination of Blue River it's an awesome day. I mean, you can really justifiably do one and then on another trip do the other and spend multiple hours at each place. But for us, this is ah, perfect. Great spot, really great spot for kids. So it can definitely be deep. I can't touch here. Let's see, yeah, there we go, got my footing. So be mindful that it can be uh, past six foot deep in some of those little holes there where the water jumps off. Yeah, super, super big rocks. It's hard to find your footing. But most of it's shallow. Just back there was uh, pretty deep by the channels where the water comes down. So a place where you can play for hours. Put the camera away and we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our time at this really cool natural micro waterfall pool area is what I'll call it. All right, so about an hour and a half later and we are wrapping it up. What an adventure we've had. This was uh, a fantastic break, like I said, from the saltwater activities to come to the freshwater and Blue River and this waterfall is definitely gonna be Something you're going to want to check out, especially with kids, while you're in Raja Ampat. So we are hitting the trail, back onto the boat, back to the little town, car ride, and ultimately we're going to make it back to our homestay. So quite an adventure, and we'll see you on the next episode.